At approximately 10 p.m. Saturday night, campus police received notification of an incident in Evans Hall, a male residence hall, and responded immediately. The MSU Police Department was on the scene within one minute of receiving the emergency call. They found the male student with what appeared to be serious injuries. He was transported to Octibaha County Hospital for treatment, but unfortunately could not be saved. He has been identified as John Sanderson, age 21, of Madison. There was a maroon alert that we get. All the students get cell phones, your, you know, your laptops, you get them all. And there was a shooting that occurred in Evans Hall. That's all we knew at the time. Um, a name somehow got released, and we found out that it was one of our friends, one of our good friends, who stays up on the seventh floor next door to me. And now we're just waiting for the investigation to complete so we can really find out who did this and we can find justice for him. I've never had anything like this happen anywhere near me before. Quite honestly, I don't know how people can do something like that and live with it. For such a shocking event to happen, it's just really surprising. But that just lets you know that anything can happen anywhere, no matter where you are. According to university officials, they released this statement. It says, in part, this is the first time in our school's history that such a tragic incident has occurred, involving a student being shot on campus. Our campus is known as a safe place, and I want to assure students, parents, faculty, and staff that it continues to be safe. The letter goes on to say that these procedures were executed quickly and effectively Saturday night. University spokesmen also say that Mason Perry Jones is a person of interest in Saturday slaying of 21-year-old John Sanderson of Madison. Reporting from the campus of Mississippi State University in Starkville, I'm Courtney Christopher Page. News Now Update at 5.